What's up to everybody out there? I want to thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I'm Marcus Dwayne, and in this one, we're going to be talking about Aweber and building campaigns and list segmentation. Um, make sure you stay through all the way to the end because we're going to be talking about like the actual email sequence building from step one all the way to, to the end, and each part kind of builds on top of each other. So, you want to make sure that you watch all the way through. Um, we're going to actually go to my computer. I'm going to show you guys step by step. So this kind of all started because I was looking into um, the difference between the legacy uh, follow-up series and the campaign. I was trying to figure out what the heck is the difference between the two. And the first place I went, I mean, just like everybody else, when I went to YouTube. So it's like, oh, I wonder if somebody like, has content out that shows you how to do that. And to my surprise... It, there were very very few videos there may have been like one or two uh so i was like okay well for people who are actually looking for this i might as well create something and fill in that gap so this is me actually filling in that gap so just in case you're wondering about that part first the difference between the two is with the legacy uh follow-up ser series there's it's, it's a little bit more limited um so you don't get that segmentation automation piece that you can get with the campaigns and that's the biggest difference that's all i was looking for once i figured that out um i figured hey i might as well show everybody how to actually create this thing and build that automation so if you don't have a weber and you're interested in it i do have a link in the description you get a 30-day free trial you guys can go ahead and check that out so i don't want to drag this out any longer i know you guys are excited to see exactly how to do this so go ahead and let's get to it all right guys so we're in the computer and we're just going to go through the process of creating a autoresponder so for your lead so when you get people in your funnel and it's time to reach out to them uh we want to make that process as automated as possible so we're going to go through that process right now so i will say uh, before we start the campaign, uh, before we create the message, that you want to have different campaigns for each of your either lead magnets or offers. Uh, and the reason why you want to do that is because you don't want to get your audiences mixed up and you don't want to inadvertently send the wrong messages to the wrong list. So I think that that's very vital. So if, if you're promoting product A, you don't want to you don't want list B to be getting emails from product A if that makes sense. So I like to segment my list and I do that because I don't want to send like people who are actually going through the autoresponder to email. So let me explain. So if they're currently still going through the autoresponder and I need to send something out, some new information, some new content. I wouldn't want to send an additional email if they're going through the follow-up sequence. You see what I mean? I wouldn't want to bombard them with emails. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to add a tag at the end of the sequence that will get them from under that will that will actually bring them into more of the general list for um that offer that funnel. It all makes sense as soon as um you know, we get through the tutorial here you you'll get a better understanding especially for all my visual learners out there all right so without further ado let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is under messages we're going to go to campaigns and we'll create a new campaign um let's see here we're going to call it i'll call it youtube tester all right all right, so here we are in our new campaign. Um, I like to typically start a campaign when someone is added to the list. So once they go through your funnel and they opt in, they will automatically be categorized into whatever campaign that you associate with your funnel. And as soon as they get dropped in, that's when the actual follow-up sequence, sequence will begin. You can start it by tag. Um, but that's pretty advanced. There is some pretty cool stuff that you can do um, with apply tags. So um, actually use it sometimes. So like say I have someone who was previously in, let's say we'll go back to the offer A, B. So if they were previously in offer A and I'm now promoting a different product. Um, 
and they click on, like say I have a link that in from the email that I created and sent to my list that goes to that offer. As soon as they click on that link, that will then be tagged and applied to that new email sequence or whatever information that I have available for that offer. Because you, when you think about it, how else would you get them in? It's not like you want them to go through a completely different funnel and try to have them opt into your list again, all that kind of stuff. You kind of just want to use segmentation to make things a little bit more smooth, crisp, and clean. All right, so that being said, I'll click on unsubscribe. And here we are, guys. So this is the screen that you'll get. And what I'm going to do is I'll I'll build out a quick two uh two or three email sequence, and I'm going to use some text from another offer that I'm actually promoting right now, uh, which is kind of cool. So you guys get to see a little bit like a peek of that offer and the email swipes that come with it. Uh, shameless plug: the link to that uh, offer will be in the description. It will be the one that refers to the three thousand uh, dollar free bonuses link, um, and it ends in passive income. So if you want to know any, if you want to know more about that offer, you can just click that link in the description. So the first thing that I want to do is make sure that we are triggering um, this campaign to start for all subscribers as soon as they are in the list, and. It comes automatically like that, but you know me, I'm like a control freak, so I kind of look at it. So you can replace this trigger with other triggers, but I like to make sure that it starts um, as soon as they are subscribed to this um, campaign. So the first thing we can do, we can either drag this over here or we can double click it. I like to double click because it's quick. Uh, and this will set up our new message. And so we can go here. Well, Actually, I just want to I want to build it out first, right? So we'll send. So this will be like the immediate message that they'll get as soon as they opt in. So let's say you have like a free offer, like you have a free ebook or something. This is the email that you want to come out immediately, like as soon as um, they actually opt in. And then so for the next email, so email two. We'll double click and we'll say we want to wait one day before performing the next act before performing the next action will be email number two for day two. All right. So this is day two email. We'll wait another day and then we'll send out email three for day three. So if you guys remember, I said I want to apply a tag at the end of the sequence so that I, I can add them. Uh, to a different segment. So we're going to double click on that. So this is going to happen as soon as uh, day three email come out that will come from under this follow up sequence. And I'll know that when I select that segmentation that whoever is done with this sequence will actually get that email. So let's add tag. I'm going to call this YouTube tester tag. And there we go. So YouTube tester tag right there. So they're, they're tagged. And now let's add a little bit of context. So we're going to click on this first message. And I want to create message. And remember, we're going to do the drag and drop email builder. And here we go. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab this uh, subject right here from day one. I'll go back here, edit message. I'll drop that here and I'll go back here right there and get back here all right there we go so the only thing that I would do different is because people you know sometimes view these emails on mobile I kind of like to bump up the text a little bit so like 16. Oh, shoot. It's, I forgot I, I worked with the six already in my uh, opt in. So it's already on 16. And we will. So now this is all done. We'll go save and exit. And we'll do day two's message. Drag and drop. And we'll scroll down here. Get this subject really quick. go 
get this text. Alright. Go. Since it's already 16 font, save and exit. And we'll pretend like this message here is our last message. Now, what I typically like to do is I'll I like my my sequences to be anywhere from six, well, anywhere from five to seven days. And so I'll do value, value I'll do value all the way throughout the sequence, and then on the last day is when I'll do my pitch. So we'll just pretend like this is the actual pitch email. And go here. Add this text right here. And boom. Copy and paste. Save and exit. And there you are. So we actually have our complete workflow here. Um, if you guys want more training on how to actually write these emails, go ahead and comment uh, email creation in the comments to kind of let me know what you guys are digging. So now we just want to save and exit. And so like once this is active, well, I might, I'll just do it. So we want to activate campaign. Okay, cool. So once this is active, you'll see like percentages. And I kind of use this to kind of like optimize my list. So if I'm getting a whole lot of opens and not that many clicks, I'll know that it's something within the email that's keeping people from clicking. So you can use that kind of matrix to kind of optimize your actual emails and get more conversion. All right. So the next thing we want to do is set up the sequence. So again, you won't be sending multiple emails to people who are actually still going through your, um, your campaign. And the way you do that, you go to subscribers and click manage subscribers. And here, want to click select field, then go to tag. And I freaking forgot what the tag was. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So, here's the tag. So, me. Because you have to make sure that this is exactly the same instead of typing it out. It's a good thing that I did forget <laughs> because otherwise I would have been trying to type this out. But I, I just like to copy and paste it. So I'll copy it here, paste, and go to search. So as you can see, there's no one in here. There's no one in here. So what you want to do is save this segment as this tag, right? So we'll paste again. Go to save. So now... So now we've actually like created that segment. Like that segment is there, it's active. So if I want to send out a message, I can send it to that segment of my list only and not double email people who are going through my actual follow up sequence. So now we want to go to messages and we want to send out a broadcast. So this is how we'll send out. Um, like the messages to the people who we want to actually get in touch with who have finished the funnel, but we still want to follow up with them, engage with them and continue to solve their problems with content, value and offer. So after we click broadcast, we want to go here, drag and drop email builder. And for this one, I'm just I'm, I'm just going to keep us here because, you know, I just want to I don't want to make this too long. Use like no YouTube test. All right, so now we have this email. We're going to save and exit. All right, so here's YouTube test right here, and we're going to go to click on send options. We'll do schedule a broadcast, and we'll go edit under who should receive this message. And when you click down, you'll see right here, YouTube tester tag. So I'm not going to send it because I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to accidentally send that test message out to my list. Um, as you can see, like you, you can actually include more people, but for this purposes of this, this email, I mean, well, the purpose of this training, we're going to only send it to the people on this. Website. So that's it. So that's how you actually create your segmentation.
Uh, that's how you create your follow-up series. And remember the reasons why we went through all of this is to make sure that we're contacting the right people and we're not emailing people multiple times a day. So another thing I want to do is just like very, very briefly just go over this. Um, I'm, I'm, go I'm actually going to do another uh, video on this tag automations thing, but I, but since I mentioned it, uh, since I mentioned it, excuse me, early in the video, I kind of just want to click on it and show you guys what's on here. So remember how I said like if you have links in it, like so like this message contains no links. So if I would have put messages in there, I could have had it to where it segmented off people like based on what they click on. So if they so like say I'm promoting again like let's say builder all right. I'm promoting that and I have a link to Builder All in that email. But my easy one up of leads actually get this email as well. And they're like, okay, what's Builder All? Right? So when they click that link, it'll automatically send them to the email sequence for Builder All. And the reason why I do that is because if they're interested enough to click on it, that tells me that they're interested enough to get more information on it. And that's it for this training. I uh, hope you guys got a ton of value out of this one. All right, so I know that was a lot, but I really, really hope you guys got a ton of value out of that one. I hope you learned something new. Uh, and if you did, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Uh, I know like in that video, I said we were going to go over a little bit more um, into the automation piece, which I am. I promise you guys that I am going to deliver on that promise. Uh, so, yeah. If you don't have Aweber, again, I do have an affiliate affiliate link. Sorry, I do get a little bit of a kickback for it if you use that link, but it does help support the channel. Uh, so I appreciate if you use that link. And if not, you can just imagine a little tear rolling down my eyes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I'm gonna also leave a link to my previous video where I teach you how to get people on your list and actually keep them there. That's very, very important. Um, so if you wanna know how I actually take my list and monetize it. The very, very first link in the description and will show you exactly how I'm doing that. Uh, it's one of the best systems out there, one of the highest converting systems that I've ever used. Um, let me know what you think. All right, so <laughs> love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.